Not many people realize that Google is storing all of your Gemini prompts in the cloud. It's all associated with your account, similarly to how you can see your search history. And it's a great way to revisit past prompts that you may have forgotten about. So today, I want to show you how to view all of your saved Gemini prompts that Google has on file for you while also showing you how to delete this data if you so wish. I've been using Gemini more and more lately as Google has begun to launch its reasoning models to the public for free. I have enjoyed being able to see the AI walk through the process of planning out how it's trying to figure something out. And it's a great way to see why some of the responses aren't lining up with the questions I'm running through it. As with most AI related tasks, the company is all about improving those responses in an attempt to perfect the product. So it makes sense that Google would benefit to keep this data on file. But we all know that isn't what many of us are happy with and thankfully, it's quite easy to not only see all of the prompts Google has saved for your account, but to even delete that data if it's something that you would like to do. The first thing that we need to do is bring up the My Activity page for your Google account. This can be found quite easily by performing a web search for the terms My Activity Google but I can also link to this website in the video description below, as well as the pinned comment here, so that it's easy for everyone to find. Once you're on this page, you'll want to tap on the hamburger menu icon in the top left corner here, and then we're going to select the other activity option. Now on this page, we're gonna scroll through until you find the Gemini Apps Activity section. And then we're going to tap on the Manage Activity link for this specific card. It will open up a new tab or a new website in general that shows your Gemini Apps Activity. And this is where you will find all of the Gemini prompts that Google has saved to your account. You can browse through this list and remove specific prompts if you'd like, or you can keep things this way so that you can always revisit these prompts in the future. Something that can be incredibly useful if you end up asking yourself what Google said about a specific prompt a few days ago. If you don't like the idea of Google saving this type of data, then that's perfectly understandable. I remember not minding that the company had been using my photos to build out its image recognition software back when they first launched Google Photos. But then, a few years after launch, the company decided to lock up some of these more popular features behind a paywall. Many features that I had been using multiple times per week. It's quite possible that we see Google do this again with Gemini once it has enough data to reach its proficiency goal. But no matter your reason, we can delete the Gemini data that's saved to your account by tapping this delete button right here. This will bring up a prompt asking you if you want to delete all of the Gemini data from the last hour, from the last day, from a specific time period or just all the time deleting all of the Gemini data from your account. Either way, this is the page that you need to find in order to remove that data from your account. I like the idea of a digital personal assistant having a memory so they can reference my past interactions as a way to improve the accuracy of its replies. 
but I don't think I'm ready to freely give them my data again after they put so many useful Google Photos features behind a paywall. It just doesn't seem fair to me. So I do appreciate Google giving us an option to manually delete this data or even setting it up to delete every month or so. It won't stop them from grabbing the data as it happens, but at least it won't be sitting on a hard drive in some of the many data centers that Google has. Please use the comment section below to let me know if you knew about the ability to delete your stored Gemini data, or if you even knew Google was saving that type of data in the first place. And don't forget to like this video as it really helps to keep me motivated and to subscribe to the channel for more Android tips like this.